Hello, everybody, and welcome to Sutton's Days. I am so excited to take you on one of this month's uh, series that we're going to do because I know some of you have been around with me for a while and know what this is, but just in case you don't, this is a bread baker, specifically a bread baker by Neil Pottery. This is so super cool. I love this bread baker so much that I ended up buying three and I have a fourth on the way. <laughs> okay. I love this bread baker. It is perfect. It makes the perfect little loaf of bread for two, three people. So if you don't want to make that great big loaf of bread, you know, or if you want to do more artisan style breads, then this is your, this is your thing. I'm telling you, not only is it gorgeous, I mean, just simply gorgeous. It is handcrafted pottery made right here in the United States of America at Neil Pottery in Ohio. So I reached out and I talked to Amy and I said, okay, I'm going to be doing a series on the bread, making up some different recipes. And she informed me, they are so awesome, you guys. She informed me that the code, the coupon code is still valid and still usable. So I'm going to put a link below to Neil's Pottery so that you can check out their, uh, their Etsy shop with the bread bakers and all the other fun stuff they have. But if you put in the code Sutton's Days, just like the channel is spelled, then you get a discount. Yes, I think it was a $6 discount. So normally this $36 bowl is $30. Um, she will actually, if you're not in the continental United States, um, send her a message to see if you can work on a deal for shipping. Okay. And find out how they do that. Cause I know they shipped to just about every place that ordered one. Uh, last time and she even had local people come by and pick them up She said that you guys are awesome and she's looking forward to working with you and continuing to work with you There is not only this one which is super gorgeous. I mean seriously, but they have a tri-colored bowl, too I'll put a picture here Is that bowl just not beautiful? I mean, it's just gorgeous. That's actually the one that's going to be showing up here shortly so later on in the month you'll see that bowl, too, but they have the coupon code. Use it. Love it. They they will do everything they can to get you a bread bowl in a timely fashion. They do have a stock of them right now, but last time kind of took us all by surprise. And um, yeah, they, they had to, you know, hurry up and make a whole bunch of them. So um, they will work with you. They will work with us. And uh, if you're interested, now is a really good time to get them. And because there's that coupon code, code you guys, Think Christmas, think holidays, think gift giving. Hey, mom, I know, I know, you know, Mother's Day is what this weekend, but you could tell her it's coming, right? Father's Day, <laughs> okay, whatever holiday you want to celebrate, this is an incredible present. And so picking them up now while the coupon code is in effect is a great idea to stockpile for a holiday gift or a birthday gift or whatever, or, you know, Get a couple for yourself. Yeah, these things are awesome. Anyway, so now we're going to get on to the bread baking. I'll put all the information for Neil's Pottery, the coupon code, all that fun stuff in the description box below. Remember that also I will have a link to the recipe so that you can print it out and keep it. Remember too, the bread bowls come with 12 recipes right from Amy Neal for using the bread baker. It's awesome. Okay, but this one... This is Lisa's recipe, and we are going to rock this out. We are going to make some cinnamon raisin bread in our bread baker. Oh, yeah. Let's get started. Okay, to start out this recipe, we're going to have one cup of hot water. Not boiling, just like your super hot tap water, okay? And then we're going to have yeast. I'm going to put all these measurements in the, in the recipe, so check that out there. We're going to put the yeast in there and then we're going to put the brown sugar in there and we're going to let that set and we're going to let it bloom. You want to make sure that your yeast blooms. What is that? We'll show you. So that's what it looks like when it blooms. Okay. It bubbles up. It puffs up. That's the yeast and the sugar and the warm water working together. You don't want super hot water because super hot water will actually kill the yeast, but hot tap water is fine. So don't boil it but hot tap water is fine, okay? So now that we have done that, that takes, you know, 15 minutes, give or take, you know, 
keep an eye on it watch it you're good now we're going to add about half of the flour to this okay it's just the easiest way to make this work and then we are going to mix it up sorry okay so now you're just going to mix it up get it all incorporated there we go Okay. See, just like that. So now we're going to add about a half a teaspoon of salt. We're going to add our cinnamon. Okay. And we're going to add in about a tablespoon of, uh, you know, if you have lard, that's great. If you use Crisco, that's fine. Whichever one you have works. And so now we're going to add that in and come on, you can do it. You can make a mess, Lise. There you go. Okay. So we're going to add that in and then we're going to work that in again. And there we go. I love cinnamon raisin bread. Love it, love it, love it. And it's so good in this baker. It really is. So you want to make sure that you're cutting in that that lard or that, you know, I'm using lard. Okay. So you want to make sure that you're cutting that in, getting it mixed in. So if it's really cold, you want it kind of room temperature just so that it mixes in really good. Now we're going to mix in our raisins. Oop, two stayed in the bowl. Got to eat those. Okay. And then we're going to add the rest of the flour. And then we're just going to keep working this up. Now, if this turns out too dry, we can add, you know, a tablespoon of water or so until it's well incorporated. This is kind of hard to do <laughs> with the camera, but we're just going to keep cutting it in, mixing it up. Okay until it's all mixed up. You're gonna get your hands in this. Pretty much a given, might as well just do it from the get-go. Okay, so just keep mixing it. I have really never made bread for this in the mixer. I don't know, just, you know, it's a, it's a small bread. I don't think it's horribly necessary. There we go, just, I'm gonna get all of that dry flour mixed in there. And the raisins all mixed in. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Okay. So I think, let's see. Good thing my nails are short, right? So I'm going to keep the camera going because that way you're seeing real time. Okay, we're going to get a tablespoon of water. There we go. Add that to it. There we go. Okay, and we're gonna keep mixing until we get that flour done up. This is perfect for you know, like I said, the this bread bowl is awesome for like two or three people, you know, for a serving. It's really good. There we go. Come on. Definitely gives your hands a workout. So maybe if you have like a KitchenAid, you know. Might not be a bad idea, but you don't really have to overwork this bread at all. And it might actually be easier to do this. Sorry for the dogs. It might actually be easier to do this on a baking mat, but yeah, maybe we'll do that for the next one. So every Tuesday this month, you guys, every Tuesday this month, I'm going to be bringing you a new recipe for the bread baker. Okay, so we have most of that mixed in. We're going to bring our bread baker over. Here you are. And we are going to coat the inside of that bread baker. Again, Crisco, lard, whatever you have. We have lard here. And I have dogs, in case you didn't hear. So you want to make sure to coat that up really good. Okay. And this bread baker is cold. You know, well, it's not cold, but it's room temperature. So you want to make sure it stays that way. And then you're going to take your dough... You're going to, technically, you're going you're gonna to form it into a circle, but that's pretty much what I had anyway, okay? So, 
There we go. We're going to get that in there. Maybe grab those couple of extra raisins. Push them in. Okay. There we go. Now I'm looking for a rustic looking loaf of bread when this is done. So this is going to be perfect. Okay. So now we're going to cover this. You can do it with, you know, a piece of plastic wrap or a towel. I'm big on a towel. So I'm just going to set this to the side and we're going to let it raise. Normally takes hmm, about an hour. So we'll be back in a minute. I love this part. I do. Okay. This took 30 minutes. 30 minutes to rise. Look at that. Okay. I am super excited. Yes, I am. Okay. So I'm going to place this on a sheet because I have little faith in my ability to keep stuff from dripping over. And we put this into a cold oven. Why do we do that? We do that because we don't want to shatter the baker. Okay. So it'll come up to temp. That's in part of the, that's in the whole baking time and everything else. So we are going to place this in the oven. I have to oil that door. What do you think? And we're going to turn it on to 375 degrees. Yes. Isn't this just the coolest stove? I know. I'm sorry, 350 degrees. Okay, and we are gonna set our timer for 40 minutes. I will see you when this comes out. The timer just went off and we are going to pull that bread baker out of the oven now. Oh yeah, this is gonna be perfect. This is gonna be perfect. Okay, look at that. Look at that. Absolutely gorgeous. Steaming hot. Steaming hot. So very carefully, you want to take it and uh, turn it up. Okay. Should pop right out of there. And so now we are going to let it sit here and cool for a few minutes before we slice into it and have Phil try a nice piece of hot buttered cinnamon raisin bread. This is so cool. Okay. It's time. We're going to cut into the bread so that Phil can taste test it. Do you want the top or the bottom? I'm kidding. Okay, so. <laughs> oh, I wish I had the camera on his face. Okay, I am going to, you know, I'm going to flip you around. Hang on. We're going we're gonna to bring you over here because I'm right-handed. So we are going to cut off nice, nice hard crust. Okay. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Okay, let me bring you in. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Perfect. Okay, so now Phil likes butter on his bread, so we're going to let him butter, butter, butter his bread. I'll get the tripod out of your way. I need one more arm. Okay. Mm-mm. -mm. Hot cinnamon raisin bread with some melty butter. I mean, check it out. Yes. I'm sorry. It's kind of hard with <laughs> the butter's not hard, but maneuvering a butter knife is difficult. Okay. <sighs> Are you ready? Mm -mm. Oh, yeah, okay, okay, I'm ready. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm -hmm. Okay. Good stuff? Mm-hmm. Keep making at least. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's got to save room for dinner, though, so mm -hmm. maybe I should have a little piece of your piece. Mm-hmm. <laughs> the piece he gave me of his piece to try. <laughs> In all seriousness. That little piece. This is good. It's not too sweet. It's got a great flavor to it. Really, you guys are going to love this bread. I hope that you give it a try. Okay, that's it. Our cinnamon raisin bread in our Neil Pottery Bakery. Baker. Mm. Okay, this is really good. Remember, if you like what we do here, please hit that like, subscribe, and share. Check us out on Instagram and Facebook. And until the next time, be safe.